In data exploration three, you'll be doing a guided exploration where I'll show you the analysis, how to make a chart, and how to get things moved over to Google Slides. When statisticians present data, they do not typically present a spreadsheet. Statisticians present data using presentations. So this guided activity will show you how you can go about analyzing data in Google Sheets and moving it over to Google Slides. In this case, the data is data from the class, the residential class, where students threw paper aircraft off of the second floor of a porch, and the distance away from the building the planes flew was measured across six different terms. The terms, uh, some of the terms go as far back as spring 2012, and there were some notes here on other terms that are included in the data. As a statistician, you'll be looking at what basic statistics are most appropriate to report. What chart might best tell the story of the data? Data has a story to tell. Help the data tell the story. What terms saw the shortest distance and what term uh, saw the longest distance? A little bit of background up there. So for this particular activity, there's this spreadsheet already set up with the data and I'll take you through a real basic analysis of this data. What we have are six different terms here and we've got how far the airplanes flew. You might be puzzled by the negative numbers. That's because some planes actually turned around and flew back under the uh, first story porch winding up behind where the students threw them and so that's what these negative numbers are. The planes actually went back under the build, you know, under the building onto a first floor porch. Uh, but in general, the numbers are positive. Most of the planes flew out away from the building. A couple airplanes fell straight to the ground, uh, it spiraled down to the ground and didn't go anywhere, so those are zeros. They landed directly under the launch position. I'm going to take the header and go ahead and copy the header. I'll put it over here in I. And then I'm going to go ahead and start doing some some of the basic statistics that you're most likely to report. The sample mean, the sample uh, size, and it's a good idea to report the sample standard deviation. Uh, that's going to, uh, let me call it just sample standard, uh, sample STDEV for short. And here I'll simply uh, take a look at my data. It goes down. The farthest the data goes down is down to A25. So that'll allow me to do the following. I'll be able to simply type in equals to count A2 to A25 and equals the mean, nope, the average from A2 to A25 and the stand, sample standard deviation, STDEV, A2 to A25. Uh, five. Uh, these numbers are certainly got more digits than I need. Uh, we we're only measuring to the nearest centimeter out there. That's probably good enough. Let me go ahead and take these down to the nearest centimeter. And then I can fill those across all the way down to there. The uh, fall 2022, the planes were launched a couple times. I'm going to select across the top, the columns, double click, uh, just to make it easier to see all the columns at one time. And now I get an idea of some of the key statistics. I'll probably move that as a table later into my spread and into my slides presentation. We don't norm necessarily always move all of the points, but for this exercise we will. In this particular case, uh, you could use the mean, you could use the median. I'm going to go ahead and use the mean as a good statistic to kind of begin to tell the visual story of the data with a chart. I'm copying and pasting the header because I'm going to need that header in a moment. And now I'm going to say equals 558. I said equals so I can do this, fill across. You may want to go back and view the video again to see these things. And now I'm going to select the data and the header and I'll go over here and tell it I'm on the chart. And that's going to be actually a pretty good chart right there. That's kind of what I had in mind. This chart starts to tell the story. Then fall 2022, the students made their own airplanes, and they threw them in this particular column. 
which if I go over to customize and down to series, I can actually add for an average of 428 centimeters. If I go down farther, this is 250, that's 500. I think it'll look good with about, uh, if I do a minor count of about four on the vertical axis, that should, yeah, that looks good. 260, 270, 280, 295. Perfect. Starts to look a little bit better. I should add a uh, title. This is, I'll do the chart title first. This is going to be the flight distance for a paper aircraft. And I should probably clarify that it is a mean flight distance for paper aircraft. Uh, it's good to have um, a horizontal axis title. That's the term. And a vertical. It's always good to have a vertical. This is the mean distance in centimeters. Those are in centimeters, by the way. They're measured in centimeters. And now with these numbers and the charts, I can see that the last column, fall 22, dart, that's fall 2022. I taught the class who initially threw planes an average of 428. A special design is designed to fly farther, and they then all made that design and flew them. And they indeed flew farther than any paper aircraft had ever flown before. So the dart design uh, does appear to be quite successful in getting uh, longer ranges on average. And so there's a story to be told there. But that's the chart. With that done, the chart is done. I'll move that out of the way here. It's down here. Uh, we'll pick up that chart in a moment. One other thing one can do with data like this, and that I often do, uh, I'll grab all the data here. I'm selecting it. I'm going to do a Control-C copy. You can't see that, but I'm doing a Control-C or Command-C copy on an Apple computer. I go to Data Upload. I'm going to tell it that I'm going to paste the data and that my data is tab separated. Things coming in from spreadsheets are separated by tabs. And then I'm going to do a Control V or Command V paste. And there's all those data. There's one, two, three, four, five, six columns because up the box plots will give me an idea of whether or not there's any outliers. And sure enough, the fall 2022 DART data has a has a one uh, outlier low and one outlier high. This is a good chart, and so uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab that chart. I'm going to do a screen capture on my computer to just grab at that chart and dump it down onto my desktop because that's another really good chart to use. Your box plot tells you a lot about the data. We can see spring 15 had a really long upper fence. So that suggests there were only a few airplanes out here, and most of the planes were down in this range here where planes usually fly. And the fall 2022 darts have, do have a higher median They're up here. But there are a couple outliers in that data that we don't see in the other data. Well, to do my slides presentation, I'm going to do slides.new. That'll work, slides.new. And... Uh, you can give it whatever you want for a uh, for a style. I'll grab this style just for fun. Uh, call it uh, paper aircraft flight distances. That's fine. And then I'll give it a uh, another. Uh, I put the themes away here. Give it another uh, new chart. A new, sorry, a new slide. Add a slide. Well, I should give it a paper. There we go. I clicked and did it automatically. I won't have a subtitle on this one. Slide. Give me an, uh, a new slide. Uh, let me see. That slide. I, I don't want that there. Just take that out. You'll see why in a moment. I'm going to go ahead and use this slide to do basic statistics. The basic statistics for flight distances. And uh, I'm going to do paste. I'm going to unlink it. Uh, linking it's a good idea, but if I link it, then changes I make back in the spreadsheet may inadvertently change this. I'm going to go ahead and paste it unlinked. Uh, not that table. Control Z, undo. I'm going to go back to this. Uh, it's not that one I want. I want the basic statistics. 
these guys copy command I'm doing a command C or control C copy and the control C command C so you can't see that but I'm using the copy and paste tools it's gonna come in a little small because it's coming in from there from the from the uh, spreadsheet but I'll make it bigger <laughs> the typing is still small but I can fix that by going in and doing format text maybe changing the size up to be uh, a little bit larger uh, command shift plus will do that mm, so there's a shortcut to bringing those guys up mm, let's try this oh they get a nice font let's go with the cursive we'll take it up in size there we go that's what I wanted to see bring it up in size so there's my table I don't have any table borders I guess I could stick borders in if I wanted to uh, put something together it's border weight border dash but that would take some some more working on this and for now that'll be good enough for this for showing you how to move data over I'm gonna go ahead and do a a uh, new slide uh, this slide I'm gonna toss that for now uh, this is the box plot of the six terms I did that box plot so I'm gonna go ahead and go to insert image upload from computer grab that screenshot it's off screen but there's an open button off screen there's that that's a nice chart it shows the uh, gives you a nice picture of what's going on there and there's some outliers I could add a discussion of that but I'll probably save the discussion for later uh, chart of mean distances for each term this is another one that's a chart so I'll go ahead and take this out and I'm gonna go in this time I'm gonna go insert and I'm gonna come down the chart and I'm gonna come all the way down to insert chart from sheets this is something you can do on the desktop that you cannot do from your uh, app and there's my data right there with my airplanes so I'm going to select that chart there and that's my chart got to get to the bottom of the uh, dialog box here uh, but, uh, well I'll just press enter Let's see if I can do it with a double click I'm in a really small window so double click uh, there's some buttons off the bottom of my screen and that's the chart there's only one chart in there so I'll choose that chart and I'll have to select that chart I'll have to do a little bit of moving around off the bottom of the screen you can't see this is is the ability to select this to import this chart um, so let me pull that up onto the window at the very bottom it says import chart and this one I'll leave linked to the spreadsheet I will import that chart that way if I do change it it will change with me so I'll put this guy back together it's a little small but there we go and there's my chart and you want to always have some sort of discussion of what uh, you're presenting typically in do the discussion or uh, orally but I'll go ahead and do a new slide and uh, discussion of results uh, the term with the lowest mean and this is uh, it's kind of lightweight so let me change this guy up to be uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take it all the way over to black I'm gonna make it a little bigger um, that's good yeah that's it with the lowest mean distance was spring 2016 which was an El Nino year I'll pull up a, got a little thing here to get me in and yeah that's uh, I'm on an Apple so you may not be able to do that don't worry if you can't get that little N yet, but it's El Nino. It's a Spanish letter, which was an El Nino year. That's in the description back at the assignment. 
which was an El Nino year, uh, and uh, for which there was a headwind. Um, the longest distance was the second set of uh, flights using a special DART design in 2022. I can also talk about any other data, anything else that the data is telling me, anything else that might concern us in the 2022 DART data was the only data with with box plot outliers and if there's other things now often we'll be also telling the audience what they should draw from our study and whatever research but here I'm just uh, trying to show you how to get from sheets over to uh, slides and set up a slide I'm in Google Slides I'm in Google Sheets and, and that's how you can get stuff over including charts whether uh, you bring them up from your desktop or you import them from a sheet go back and watch the video again you can see how to do each of these different steps your job is to simply produce the same thing that I produced here you know, that way you can practice the process the goal here is to practice the process of going from a spreadsheet over to slides it's the slides that you then submit when you go to submit here in X in three when you do your submission you're submitting this you can submit it using the LTI 1.3 method or if that doesn't work for you you can also download this you can download it as a PowerPoint or a PDF and then you can simply upload it into canvas to submit it uh, but you can also submit it through the LTI 1.3 that should also work for you uh, but if it doesn't work for you do use the download and then you can import the slides and these slides you can show uh, you can download them locally so they're available offline if you wish uh, but you can also download them as a document and you can show them if you're online you can show them anywhere you can go right into slideshow and then it'll be in the full slideshow mode where it lose your whole screen but uh, with that said, that's Data Exploration 3. All you need to do is do just what I did. You'll be doing your own on when we get to Data Exploration 4, which is number 12.1. Uh, and you can change this theme, use whatever theme you like. Change, uh, make, it, make it your own, do whatever you wish that way with it. Uh, and if you see some other analysis you want to do, go for it. But this is just to give you an introduction to how to get data exploration 3 done, how to get from here and your spreadsheet over to your slides. Thanks for watching.